Welcome back to Circle Jump. We're getting really close to completing this game. This time I'm going to be adding a few small features that will really boost the fun level of the game. The main one being a score multiplier that rewards you for quick reaction. If you jump quickly before completing a full orbit, you'll get more points, especially if you can keep doing it. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the music fade out when you lose instead of stopping instantly. Uh, I had a suggestion from a couple of people that that was a bit jarring and that we should do something about that. So we're going to add a tween to this main scene here that we're going to use to ramp the volume down when the game ends. So if we go over here to our main script, we're going to add a new function called fade music. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the tween, which let's name this music fade. So music fade, we're going to interpolate property, the music node, the volume dB is the property that we want to interpolate. We're going to start from 0, which is the default value, to minus 50. We're going to take one second, and we're going to use... I don't think it really matters all that much since we're going to just hear it fade out, but I'm just going to do the default uh, ease types. We'll do ease in. Okay, so we then are going to start it music fade dot start and then we're just going to wait for it to we're going to wait for music fade we're going to make wait for the all completed signal and then just tell the music to stop so now at the end of the game instead of music dot stop we're just going to say fade music now that would fade the music down to zero on the first play, but then when we go to play again, or sorry, to negative 50, when we go to play again, it's going to be on negative 50 still. So when we start a new game and we play the music, we also need to reset the volume back to normal. So we're going to set volume.db to zero. So let's give that a quick shot. If we hit play, there's our music, and then when we lose, it fades out. Play again, and then there we go. Alright, the other thing that we're going to do, which was suggested by Game Endeavor, who I'm going to link to in the comments below. You should definitely go watch his channel. He does some really good Godot tutorials as well. Uh, he suggested that when you top your high score, you should get some kind of notification so you get that dopamine hit of, hey, I got a new high score. So we're going to make a flag here to track whether you've gotten a new high score in the current in the current game. Um, this is going to be false. And then when you whenever we start a new game, we will set that to false. And then if you break that record, then down here when we set the score, if score is greater than high score, and we haven't hit a new high score, then we're going to show the message on the HUD. We're going to do show message, new record. So you'll see that come up. And then we'll set new high score to true so you don't get that notice every time you get another point. Right? We only want that to show once when you surpass the old record. And now we can move on to the main focus of this episode which is to implement a bonus counter. So I've added to the HUD already just a label up here which is going to hold it. We're going to use this to give you a bonus every time you jump if you jump before you've orbited the circle one full revolution. And so if you can get a chain of those going your bonus will increase every time and you can score a lot more points. And so I also added an animation for this so that whenever you get a bonus up it will pulse like that. And so it's just scaling it up and then scaling it down and turning it red and then back to white so that we just get that little click whenever we get another bonus every time it goes up. 
And we're going to use that in the script when we update the bonus. We'll change the text. And then if we're going up, we'll play the animation. If you're dropping back down because you lost the bonus, it's not going to play the animation. OK, implementing this on the circle is going to require a little bit of change. We are, we're already keeping track of the orbits, but we're only doing it when we're on limited mode so that we can count down and see when you run out. Instead, we need to do this for every circle. Count how many rotations you've, or how many orbits you've done. But then if you're limited, have them run out just like they're doing now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, in the limited mode. So right now what we're doing is we have our num orbits, which is how many the limited mode has. And then we have current orbits, which is how many you've done. We're starting that out at zero. And we're going to keep that. So I'm going to set that to zero every time you get captured. So where is it? Here. And we're just going to have it count up. But that means that when we're in limited mode, instead of setting the current orbits to, you know, say three and subtracting to count it down, we're going to leave it at zero and add up. So that means our text needs to be num orbits when we're in limited mode, show how many there are. And then in process, when we're checking the orbits to count whether we've made a complete revolution, we need to do that all the time, not just when we're in limited mode. So we're going to take that conditional out, and we're going to just do it if there's a jumper attached. Now check orbits needs to change. So we're going to test if we've done a full circle. But then we're going to increase current orbits by one. And then if we have completed a circle, we're going to emit a signal. So I'm going to define a signal up here called full orbit that we're going to emit if we've done a full orbit. So we're going to emit signal full orbit. And now if we're in limited mode, we'll do this other stuff like we've been doing before. So if mode is modes.limited, then we will play the beep sound because we completed a circle. We will update the label text to be, and we want that to be num orbits minus current orbits because now, if we started out with three, we've done two, there'll be one left. And it's still going to be over and implode if we run out. But then we need this to happen regardless to update the orbit for the next time around. Now, the other place we need to change them is in our draw. So draw is going to be getting called all the time now. So we need to not draw the limited circle uh, pi in the middle unless we're in limited mode. So if mode is not equal to modes limited, we're going to return. And then otherwise we will draw. Now the, we need to update this a little bit too because it's using the wrong formula now. And instead it's going to be this and then just one plus current orbits. So then the pi gets bigger as current orbits goes up, right? Because we're multiplying. OK, so now we're about there. But there's one kind of subtle bug that got introduced here when I was testing this out and trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. And that is we emit the signal when the circle completes an orbit. But if you jump off right before the orbit is completed, the circle you jumped away from is still going to emit the signal because it hasn't had a chance to implode yet, or it's running the implode animation while that's happening. And the reason for that is because when we call implode, we're not setting jumper equals null. And that will solve that problem. So now we're done with the circle, and we're emitting the signal. So over here in main, we're going to need to do something about that signal. All right, so we're going to add a variable called bonus to keep track of our bonus level. 
and it's going to start out and we're going to give it a set get of set bonus and then we'll define that in a second but we also when we spawn the circle we need to connect up that signal so let's see new game up oh, new game we should set bonus bonus equals zero when we spawn the circle we need to connect that signal and we're going to connect the full orbit signal to we're going to connect it directly to the set bonus method and we're going to pass it a value of one because if you complete a full or orbit you lose your bonus so the bonus gets, bonus gets reset back to one so we're just going to send one on over there now we also need to when you hit a new circle if you jumped we should add one to your bonus so score we add we add one times bonus right so whatever your multiple bonus is your score multiplier and we increase bonus by one and then we can do the set bonus method and what this is going to do is set the bonus equal to the value and update the HUD so on the HUD we'll call update bonus with the bonus value all right and that should do it let's give it a try all right so you can see my bonus increasing but when I let it go around a full circle I lose it and you see my score going up and you can see I got a couple of really good long chains going which was really satisfying to get that really high score and try and keep the chain from breaking so I think this is a great addition and really adds a lot of excitement to playing the game. This tutorial is part of my new Godot Recipes website. The goal is to collect all the best tips and lessons to help make you a better Godot developer. If you like this video, I hope you'll go and check out the site. And make sure to hit subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I release new videos. Thanks for watching.